Good morning, everybody. It's Facebook Live Thursday, and I'm standing here behind my garden, well, actually in front of my garden, and wanted to kind of showcase it. Like I said, I always love starting out the garden because I feel a garden is very peaceful, very warming, very therapeutic. Absolutely love it. You can see it's producing well and it's kind of like life when you take care of it things go well if you don't take care of it yeah sometimes things don't go so well but anyways it's what better way than to start off with the garden <laughs> so i have a question for you do you struggle with some aches and pains maybe some frustrations do you struggle with making decisions in your life do you struggle with different challenges that come up and refusing to accept responsibility do you struggle with anger do you struggle with frustration or any number of other emotions I've been doing a lot of study with this recently and I'm actually going to pull back from one of the methods of dealing with emotions that I've subscribed to for a while. And that, that feeling, I mean that, that way of dealing with things is when you're feeling angry. Before I was saying, you know, take a hammer or something and just pound. And there still may be times when that approach might be appropriate, that you might need to just do something extra like that. But one of the things that I'm realizing is when I'm angry and then I start pounding on something, it's almost like I'm reinforcing that anger, that I'm strengthening that anger. And it subsides for a bit because I get exhausted <laughs> because I'm saying you're using an axe or whatever to chop down a, a chop on my stump but it just kind of reinforces that that anger almost cements it in in some ways and as I've been studying this more and more I came across this concept and this idea that you don't fight it, you don't join it, you just acknowledge it and you recognize it. You separate it as a part of who you are. So when I'm angry, I need to ask myself, why am I angry? Accept the fact that I'm angry. Accept the fact that I'm frustrated. Accept that whatever the emotion is, accept it. Don't try to ignore it. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to say, oh, I shouldn't have this emotion. You already do. So don't try to ignore it. But then ask, how is this serving me? Is this anger helping me? In what way is it helping me? Is it giving me a sense of validation? Is it helping me to cope with something that I'm not really wanting to cope with. But just start to feel it and get to know it. Literally, it's almost like it's a person and you are now trying to connect with it to understand it, to understand why it's in your life, to understand why it is going on at this point. Is it really about a broken lampshade or uh, something that's been hurt is it I mean, what is it really about and then love it yeah love it let it know how much you love it and just care for it and support it that it's it's there as part of you and you're glad that you have an emotion and you feel free enough to express that emotion and to feel that emotion and thank it. And as I've been doing this, what I've noticed 
the anger or the frustration or the feeling starts to release and let go. Starts to basically say, you know, it's okay. I'm not angry anymore. I know it kind of sounds weird when you, you separate an emotion and you kind of give it a, a person. You know, you personify it and you, you make it its own entity. It's, it sounds kind of kooky, kind of weird, but it's amazing. It's simply amazing. So the next time that you get angry, the next time you get frustrated, the next time you really express feeling a high emotion, separate it. Give it its own identity. Oh, there you are, anger. We've had this talk before. I felt you before. What, what's going on? Why, why are you present? Are you doing something for me? And try... Try this out. See if it works for you like it's been working for others. You are amazing. Believe it. Have an amazing day.